old and dirty. Mm, you are so ugly. It's just why, why do you even, why she have this? I know he's got to be around here somewhere. Mr. Face, where are you? I can't look at you all day. What are you screaming about? Mr. Face. Well, I don't think he would be under the blanket. I thought maybe he was trying to play hide and go seek. I don't know. Well, where's the last place you had him? Well, um, uh, Mama, if I knew that, I probably would have him, but he probably was in your room last. Coco, you know that bear was not in my room. Actually, I don't know. And why are you so defensive? Are you hiding something, Mama? Maybe my bear? Uh, Ma'am, I do not have your bear. Uh, well, according to my analysis, someone here has to have it, and it's only two people here, and that's you and me, Mama. So, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Y yes, I do mind. Now, excuse me. Uh, wait. Uh, I apologize for my aggressiveness. I'm just really sad because I can't find Mr. Face. Oh, well, how about we go and get a new gadget that you might like that's more for your age? For my age? What made you say that? Well, I feel like you may have outgrown Mr. Face and it's just maybe time for something new. But I don't want anything new. Oh, that's what you say now, but you'll forget about Mr. Face in no time. Will I? Mama, why is it so easy for you to just tell me to give up on Mr. Face? No, I didn't say it was easy. I just... Sorry. I have a few questions. Do you not like Mr. Face? No, I loved him. He was just getting old. Loved? Uh, old? Mama, he doesn't even have a heart or anything to get old. He can live longer than a human being. So old is not even in his nature. Mama, when's the last time you saw Mr. Face? A few days ago. Well. Um, in the hallway. <sighs> okay, and what happened when you saw him? I, um, I picked him up and examined him. <sighs> Did you put him back after doing that? I, I put him up somewhere. Up? Uh, uh, Mama, where is up? Because I've been looking up and I don't see a twice of him. <laughs> now that I think about it, his clothes are missing too. And his shoes. Have you seen them? Uh, What's wrong, Mama? Hi, I'm, I'm sure he's fine. Well, how would you know he's fine if you haven't seen him in the last few days? I just have a feeling that he's good. Mama, what happened to Mr. Face? Nothing. I am sure he's fine. <laughs> Mama. Huh? Where's Mr. Face? Okay, yes, yes, I did it. I gave Mr. Face away to a little girl who would love him just like you. I just feel like you outgrew him and it was time. I'm sorry, Coco. How could you do that to me? He meant the world to me. He made me smile so big and you just took him from me. I'm sorry. I guess I gotta live with it now. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna look past his smile. <laughs> Coco, stop crying. Stop, stop crying. I know I should have talked to you about this. And going forward, I promise we'll go through your old things together and see what we're able to do, okay? Okay. Uh, what new toy were you thinking about getting me? Because you said because I'm getting old. So I was thinking maybe a new laptop or or or. Woof, woof. Oh, you sure are getting expensive. I was thinking like a ball. No, I'll take the laptop. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, y'all. Mother, I promise I'll be back right after school. I'm just going to hang out with my friends. No, Mom. You don't have to tell me. How's it going, Coco? You've been running over your lines. It's going good? Is it going good? Mama, it's going great. I know all of my lines. I know I'm going to get the role, so I have nothing to worry about because I'm going to walk in there. I'm going to show them what I got, and I'm going to do what I do really quick. <laughs> okay, okay. I am so excited to see what you got. So, we know this is a very big opportunity, so you have to take it very seriously and give it all you got, Coco. Remember, there are big people coming to see. This can help with your college scholarships, and we really want you to get those, okay? 
Yeah, I know. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to having the main role. And once they see me, mama, they're going to be like, oh, my goodness. It's going to be like, it's Coco. Oh, what should my name be? Like, my acting name should be like Coco Constantly Sleeper or like Coco the Store. <laughs> Any of those sound <laughs> good. Um, but what about maybe let's try your name, Constant Shruti. I, I think that would be amazing. And I, I did name you that because because I liked it. Oh, well, thank you, Mama, for the name. Um, you know, as I get older, um, there might be some changes. But I will consider Constant Shruti. But for right now, I'm really going towards Coco the Star. But we'll see what my agent thinks. <laughs> agent you don't even have an agent coco you haven't got the role yet are you sure you have the lines together i'm just speaking it into existence just like you taught me mama but yes i have the lines i'm going to go up there and i'm going to show them that that's my role okay i like that confidence but as much as i like it i want to see it so let's go over these lines for real mama i got you like this is gonna be good okay so you're madison and i'll be reading for anna okay mm -hmm. ready madison come here please coming mommy oh, that's good that's good that's good okay um madison how was your day today it was grand mommy jimmy and them played at the park and we had such a great time i can't wait to go back again I'm so happy to hear that, dear. And you know what's even better, Mommy? I decided to take my doggy to the store and we jumped rope. And then after that, we went ahead and went to Peter's house. And Peter, we had fun with. Because Peter gave us popcorn and a little bit of corn. Coco, that is not the line. What, you just decided to make up your own lines? Coco, this is a really big opportunity and you're going to mess it up. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay, Coco, it's okay. Just do like you rehearsed and do what's on the paper, okay? Okay. Okay, you got this. I'm so happy to hear that, dear. Me too. Because, you know, every time when I used to roll down the road, I used to go ahead and go, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And every time they would come. No, 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 this is not. <laughs> this is not on the paper, Coco. Well, 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 it should be. I think how I change it up a little bit will really, really get their attention. And then they'll pick Coco the star. <laughs> think that they wrote the lines like that for a reason and I think you should do what's on the paper like we rehearsed. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this one. This is for $10,000, so I think you're not. <laughs> I think I will. Not. Will. Not. Will. No, Coco, you will not. You've been wanting this opportunity for months, you finally got it, and you have to do it. Fine, you win. Mother, I'm coming. Please, Mom, can you please make the breakfast like you did last time? I really liked it. It was yum, yum, delicious. Yes, yes, come on, those are the lines. Yes, 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 okay. That was good, just give it a little more oomph. You got it, you got it. <clears throat> Mother, I'm coming. Can you please make the breakfast like you did last time? It was yum, yum, delicious. And that? That is why you're my little star. You know that? That is perfect. Oh, the star. Oh, I love it. You are great. <laughs> yes, Mommy. See, I told you I got it. You just have to believe in me. That's all it takes. But go ahead and call my agent up and tell him the name, Coco the Star. Tell him to spell it with Coco, all caps, the, and with a star. <laughs> now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. We're pretty